You see that little gearbox right there? You're gonna wanna click this. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm clicking it right now. And then you're gonna hit settings. Okay, and then you're gonna go down on the left side to controller. And here we have our custom bind keys. I'll just do them real quick. Um, I have mine custom. I have some of mine switched. If you wanna go ahead and copy these, uh, feel free. I have most of the double button combos switched to one button combos now. So it's just a one button for, for my skills and stuff. It's a lot nicer than what I had before. Uh, I'll scroll through it slow if you want to test it out for yourself. The stuff that's highlighted in green is what has been changed. Okay. Next, aiming mode hold, sprinting mode auto. Um, the only reason I do auto sprint now is because sometimes it's kind of hard to initiate the jet slide unless you know you're sprinting it's just it's just kind of awkward without auto sprint but try it for yourself see how you like it but for me i get a lot of dead slides when i don't use auto sprint i'm just not quick enough with clicking l3 i guess to get the slide going because you have to click l3 and then hit b to get the slide engaged so i prefer the auto sprint vision sensitivity very high for advanced sensitivity settings you could just go ahead and copy these if you're turning you feel like your turning is a little slow you're gonna change it you're gonna change your standard view and you're gonna take this up a little bit if you feel like it's too slow. Same with the firing. Make sure that your camera and your firing match. These need to match no matter what. Okay, so if you're turning kind of slow, change this 120, change that up if, if you feel like it. Sometimes mine feels a little slow and the same with the firing. And then if you're having issues with tracking, if your tracking feels like it's a little too slow, then you take your shoulder aim and your red dot and your second times, your two times, and you raise that up to like, I don't know, 35, 40, try that out. If you're track, cause I've had some complaints with tracking being a little slow. So try that, see how that works. If not, then this is pretty good here. So you got your firing, then you have vehicle. I don't really mess with this, but you should turn some of this stuff down because the sensitivity default is outrageous. I just don't really mess with it too much. I, I rarely take fights from inside a car. I'd rather pop out and get, get it done. For advanced sensitivity settings, uh, X axis is 110, Y axis is 40. The only reason that Y axis is lower is because it kind of helps combat recoil a little bit, a little bit of that vertical recoil, if that makes sense. It's nice. The only issue with this is it's going to be harder to fight Maggies, but that's about it. Maggies and bows are kind of hard to fight. If they fly over your head, you're going to have a bit of an issue. If it's bothering you that much and you have, you can't fight, you know, you can't fight upward or downward and you're having an issue with that, turn the Y axis sensitivity up just a little bit. I have joystick acceleration on just a little bit because if you have your stick turned all the way to the right, it'll basically speed it up slightly as time goes on. So it, it feels more naturally like the way that a controller is made to feel. I don't really care about the Y axis joystick acceleration. It's not necessary to me. It, it makes your controller feel less like a mouse and keyboard input on a controller and more like an actual controller. And then the rest are zeros. And I have the Joystick acceleration for ADS aim. I have that turned off. I have that off as you can see So we'll go through it one more time boom 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 boom, okay Next up you have your vision response curve. I changed it back to linear. I've noticed really good um, High precision. It seems like traditional isn't as good since my last video So I would recommend high precision or linear. Those are the two that I've noticed have been pretty good I went ahead and I took my dead zones off. I think it's pretty good, um, but if you have an older controller, you might want to leave a little bit on your right stick. There's really not a reason to have a left stick dead zone. It's just for walking, so it's not that big of a deal if you walk a little, like an extra millimeter to the left. It's not really that big of a deal to me. So if you do have a stick drift issue, I'd recommend just putting the right stick up to a small. Menu pointer speed, I have it like 1.20. There we go. Finally got that even number. Uh, vibration, I have it off. If you are if you start to get competitive and stuff, that's like kind of one of the tips that they recommend is that you don't have vibration on. Wheeled vehicle uses separate brake and throttle keys. I just use the left stick to uh, accelerate with the car, but if you want to use the triggers like a normal like a normal racing game or whatever, you would turn that on. And then the medical roulette, I have pressed to use and the sticker roulette, I have pressed to use, but you could change it to release to use instead, but I don't know why you would do that. Relax. Your teammates are very reliable.
Ultimus! There's a level here. Level two. Haste! You guys need to go back to boot camp! Hit! Haste! You guys need to go Reloading. back to boot camp! Wait up! Reloading! Careful, Silent guys! Guidance. <laughs> Direct hit. Before the new year arrives, it's time to settle old scores with firepower. Open fire! Haste! You guys need to go back to boot camp! Reloading! Need to focus! There's a Direct shield hit. here. Level 3. Be Bionic more careful item. next time! Direct hit! Under my control. No exceptions. <laughs> you look thirsty! Haste! You guys need to go back to boot camp! Direct hit! Reloading! Need to focus. Haste! You guys need to go back to boot camp. Restoring shields before heading out. Haste! You guys need to go back to boot camp. <laughs> I guess the guy was weak already. <laughs> On top of the tower. I'm under fire. Restoring shields. Direct hit. Reloading. Careful, guys. To miss. Do you see this glitch? Feel the gravity of fate. Fire on them. Reaper has been killed. There's a Freddy coming Reloading. to you, sliding to you. Under my control. No exceptions. I hear somebody. Maybe it was just you. Yep. Open fire! Oh, so easy. Haste! You guys need to go back to boot camp! Airdrops. My reloading speed is as fast as my shovel. Restoring direct hit. Airdrop arrived. Direct hit. So easy. Reloading. Need to focus. Feel the 
the gravity of fate. Safe zone will retract in 30. Restoring shields. She's running. Ugh, damn it. Careful, guys! Michelle's crossing the street back there. The Behind the gate. Yeah, yeah. Right. Open fire! Haste! You guys need to go back to boot camp! Direct hit. So the world nice. Is under my control. No Ooh! Victory. Let's go! What a game. Oh yeah. See controller, not a problem. No problem at all. That's how we do it, baby. Aim assist is back. What are you guys talking about? Aim assist wasn't nerfed. Just use the defender in the VSS, problem solved. So that's it. Let me know what you think of the controller settings and if they work for you. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.